Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're all doing really great today. And so of course we'll be taking a look at what is expected as we're going to be heading throughout today. And I'm also going to be showing you guys the latest value of the Enso region over in the Pacific as well as the temperature anomaly map for the Atlantic, the Western Atlantic, which will include the Caribbean. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so as we go ahead and take a look at the satellite imagery, we can see here that there is still quite a bit of activity. Uh, not a whole lot compared to what was there a couple of days ago when there was even flooding reported in some areas, but we still see some convective activity taking place. And then over in the Lesser Antilles, of course, we have all that cloud cover, which is probably induced in some rainfall activity as well for some areas. But as we look to the Western Caribbean, and we can see that uh, we have some activity there, not much to really do anything aside from maybe even just a stray shower, but uh, we have a bit of activity over there as well. But for most other areas, things are looking pretty clear this morning. However, let's go ahead and take a look at what the models are expecting in terms of the rainfall as we're going to be progressing throughout today. So we're going to be looking at the GFS, Euro and Icon, and they're all consistent about one thing. So so let's go ahead and take a look at them starting out with icon and we can see here that of course as the map gets more colorful that is indicating higher rainfall totals now icon is expecting that the eastern caribbean will be receiving the most rainfall in the region so we can see all the way from trinidad going up to the uh parts of the leeward islands so uh, we can see that that area there is expected to receive the most rainfall throughout the region for most of the northern uh, northern caribbean there isn't going to be much activity today down in the abc islands things are looking pretty much dry same story over to the yucatan belize parts of honduras nicaragua costa rica going down to panama so uh, that is what the icon is expecting and gfs is in agreement with this but showing a little bit more rainfall from maybe sections of eastern cuba northwestern jamaica hispaniola puerto rico and then of course showing most of that rainfall activity in the eastern caribbean but showing that trinidad isn't going to be experiencing much rainfall as we progress throughout today and uh, for the abc islands the model is also in agreement that uh, they're going to be in the clear in terms of any rainfall activity. And then, of course, the euro is in agreement with this. So th uh, here we can see this consensus where the models are expecting the Eastern Caribbean, uh, that the Eastern Caribbean will be receiving the most rainfall throughout the region, but showing maybe just some stray showers across sections of the Greater Antilles over to the Western Caribbean, where we have the Central American territories not seeing much. So uh, there we have that trend there. Same story for ABC Islands. No rainfall activity anticipated for today so here we have these models being pretty much consistent about this but of course uh in terms of south america more rainfall activity is definitely likely there and uh, that is going to be the kind of trend because of course we have the intertropical convergence zone and as we're heading now into the summer months uh that is a time when it gets pretty active and it even helps to uh, induce some tropical cyclone activity if you watched my previous countdown video on Sunday so uh, that is what is going on and that is what is expected in terms of that guys and so now I want to take you to the latest value of the ENSO region so the latest value is 0.243 and once it reaches 0.5 it is considered El Nino weak El Nino so we're still in neutral conditions because uh, between 0.5 and minus 0.5 that is the neutral zone and then uh, if we head above that we're in El Nino conditions below that is La Nina conditions. Of course, La Nina isn't likely as we're going to be progressing into the rest of this year. Very little chance of that happening, but an elevated chance of El Nino returning as well as neutral conditions out there. Although I really think that we could likely see El Nino conditions uh, return. We're likely to go into that El Nino as we head into the end of this year and into 2024. However, uh, even though El Nino conditions typically induce less activity over in the Atlantic, because we have above average temperatures, temperatures that could counteract that and I think I've mentioned this uh 
many times before but if you're new to my channel i am explaining this again so uh warm sea surface temperatures of course that favors tropical cyclone development and there is above average uh temperatures across the atlantic but then uh there might be that increase in that wind shear that would help to disrupt anything trying to develop and that is why the hurricane season is uh, a complex one to forecast for many agencies but most predictions so far are calling for an average to below average hurricane season some expecting above average activity but of course only time will tell what's going to be happening and look into the sea surface temperature anomaly map now we can see that of course as we head to the warmer colors from those uh light pale shades of yellow going to those oranges and reds uh as we go up as we go to that red shade that is warmer temperatures and of course where we have the whites indicate that things are pretty much normal but the blues indicate below normal temperatures and we can see that across the caribbean and most of the gulf of mexico and southeastern off the southeastern coast of the u.s things are warming up pretty nicely and i mean we're heading to summer so that's going to be the general trend here guys and of course i'm going to go into this uh, in a bit more depth in my upcoming updates video on sunday so stick around for that but in terms of the caribbean of course rainfall activity is still expected for the eastern caribbean islands so you guys might receive some rainfall especially heading to the afternoon later today so uh, that is what is going on right now and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be weather wise